Hey, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this series. In this lesson, we will cover how to build, deploy, and test an API's gateways endpoints for the REST API. So far, we've covered a bit on the backend architecture. So, say how to build and train and SageMaker's models and then create an endpoint for that SageMaker models and then create a Lambda functions that will help us to invoke the endpoint at the same time that will help us to trigger the SNS service that allow us to send email notifications to the customer. So now you could imagine that everything behind the scenes are ready. They are now ready to serve our customer. The last things that we need to do is set up the front door gateway. Um, that we will have our receptionist um, to be there to serve our customer. Before we move into the details, let's take a look to see how this receptionist will help us to take the request from the customer and then pass it on to the waitress. Once the waitress have the appropriate response, how we pass it back to the customer. First of all, what is Amazon API Gateway? Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service offered by Amazon, which will make us easy to, uh, to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and also secure any API at any scale. So API, just like what I mentioned, is like the front door for a applications that allow the clients to access the data or the functionality from the backend service. So in our project, that, will, that is a front door sitting in between the clients and the Lambda functions. There are two ways that we can set up the API. The first way is a RESTful API, and the second way is the WebSockets API. And just a, a, in general, a WebSockets API allows us to use a real-time two-way communications applications that is much more like for applying it in a dashboards or streaming, something like that. So in our cases, we just would like to use the Westflow API, which is based on a request and response communications protocol. So in that case, um, on the client side, the customer will make a request. And then at the back end, we will take care of the request and send, um, send the customer back the appropriate, back with the appropriate response. So in short, an API gateway is an infrastructure layer that sits in front of the backend service. Uh, so its main purpose is to serve the request from the clients by routing it to the right backend service, uh, which provides the required response. So in our example, the clients will connect to the web and mobile applications and then make a request full and Amazon's API gateway. And then these gateways will send this request to the Lambda functions that we just built in the previous lessons. And these Lambda functions will based on the request and create the appropriate content and also response. And then that will send it back to the web and mobile applications via this API gateway. Um, so the customers can read the response over the web or over the mobile applications. All right, it's time to set up the AWS API gateway. First thing first, we will just um, go to the Amazon Management Console and then click on the API gateway or search um, the API gateway. Now we click on it. Once we are in, we can click on the Create API. Just like what I mentioned, what I'm going to do is to use um, a, a West API. That So let's build this. So this is a one-way communication. So we will use the Westful API. And this is a, a new API. Uh, we just need to provide a name, so say uh, price quick date. In this example, 
and we just now click on the create API. The first things that we need to do is to create a method for this API, whether or not we would like to use the get or the or the um, post functions. So what we're going to do is to use the post functions, post methods to communicate with this API. So click on the actions, create methods, and then select the post, and then click your text over here. So the reason why we use a um, post API is that because um, there are two ways that we can communicate with the API. The first is to use the get we uh, get. Uh, this is a just a request without bringing in any data. So in that case, we just send our request to the backend and get back to the uh, response. On the other hand, we can also upload some data. In that case, we want to post. We we want to use the post methods to make that request and that will allow us to make the request with the data. So in that case, in our example, we want to send some data to the backend and allows them to, and allows the SageMakers to make the right predictions. So now get back to this console. Now we need to choose the integration points for these new post methods. Uh, we would like to post, um, uh, uh, post the data into a lambda functions and then the lambda function name is my function so i just click on my function now we can save and what is going on here is that because this api gateway is going to connect to the lambda function so we need to give these api gateways a permissions that allow it to invoke our lambda functions that is my function and click OK. Now you can see the entire flow over here. So the API gateway is sitting um, in the middle and um, between the clients and also our Lambda functions. So say the clients from here make a request uh, based on the post methods and then uh, our API gateway will help us to integrate this request and pass it on to the Lambda functions. And once the Lambda functions uh, creates an appropriate response, uh, the API gateway will also help us to integrate that response and send it back to the client. So now we can take the actions to deploy this API gateway. Now we can deploy these models. This is a new stage and say uh, XGBoost, XGB's model. And then we click, click on the deploy. Great, we have just successfully created um, and deployed this API. So now we can test this API. This URL here is that allow us to invoke our API endpoint. So what we need to do is to copy this link to invoke the API endpoint. Now back to the Jupyter Notebook. Um, what we need to do is to um, bring in the library, import the request library that will allow us to send the post request to, be, to the backend, sorry, to the endpoint. And this is the API endpoint that I just copy from these um, APIs gateway. And the JSON data that I would like to pass it in. Let me check that out. Here we go. And this is the JSON data that I would like to pass it um, to this uh, via this API endpoint. And now I can make a post request with the first arguments that is our URL and the second argument, that is our data. Remember that we are using the post methods, so it will allow us to upload our data. And this is the data that we would like to uh, upload. So if I run the cell, it just um, uh, 
it's just, it has just done and then let me print out the result so here we go uh, if you get a state code um, that is 200 it means um, everything is okay the lambda functions output um, is okay and then you will get the response and that is these um, predictions stock predictions but sometimes you might get some error so in that case you can click on this link to check out which um which types of errors that you have with your api but if you have um, 200 congratulations everything is fine with your api so that's it for this video and also for this aws machine learning uh, series we did cover a lot of the aws um, service that includes the SageMaker the Lambda functions, the SNS, the APIs gateway, and also how to set up the IAM roles and policy. So I hope you enjoyed and find it useful. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.